over here, I tell you something about Melman theorem. The first description of Melman theorem is that is the units they have to be parallel to each other. Now, what do you mean by that unit? That is, ten ohm I can write over here, or I write over here. That doesn't make any difference. Ten ohm will write it over here, or write write over here. That doesn't make a difference, right? So you see, this 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 there is nothing midway. That say I cannot have a resistance from here to here joining it, and that is not possible. Then the theorem cannot be used. So these units, that is battery and resistor units. They have to be parallel to each other. You, sh you should be having such units which are connected parallel to each other. That is a one major restriction you have. Now, then, if the potential difference between A and B, suppose it is V, then what we use in Melbourne's theorem is primarily V is equal to IR only, that is V0. V is equal to IR V0. I consider this is a Imaginary kind of a circuit over here that's a wire where the current is I in this and R is the equivalent resistance between A and B. Remember, so this I over here, let's say I intend to write V is equal to IR where I is this and this I is. If I call this as I1, I call this as I2, I call this as I3. So I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to I. So V, that is potential difference between this and this, these two, and is I is I1 plus I2 plus I3 into R equivalent between these two. So now what is I1? I1 value is V by R. That is just take this only. This arm I is equal to V by R, I1 is equal to V by R, V is 30 plus for this. There is no battery. Plus for this, I3 is I3 is 15 by 10. Now R equivalent. Now don't consider the battery. So there are three resistors, 10, 10, 10 ohm each. So they are in parallel. So equivalent resistance between A and B is going to be 10 by 3 ohm. So R comes out to be 10 by 3 ohm. So V is, this is C, it is this is 0. 45 by 10, 10 times 3 cancel, or let me write it as 45 by 10 into 10 by 3 is equal to 15 volt. Right? So I get the potential difference across. Please see that is, if suppose this battery is uh, connected in a reverse manner, then instead of plus I3, you will take it as minus I3. Just take care of this one. So V is 15 volt, if I have to find the current in this, so that is I2 has been asked, so I2 is equal to V by R, that is 15 by 10, 1.5 ampere, the same answer which I got using Kirchhoff laws, superposition theorem, node analysis method, so we get the same value of R. Right? Now if someone asks, if this is asked, what are the values of I1 and uh, I3, you don't get confused. So, if I1 has to be, I solve it for 1, then for the other I3, you can also solve it. So, between A, B, and A, the potential difference is taken as we have found it as 15 volt. Now, I am interested in finding this current I1 value. So, I remove this. I, we have found that is potential difference between A and B is 15 volt, okay, 15 volt. And the currents are going in this R action, that is potential of this is greater as compared to this. And this is 15 volt. So what I do is, I connect by a battery of 15 volt, like this, the same thing, right? 
30 volt is it? 15 volt is it? So, let us see, they are same polarity join. So, 30 minus 15 is do it for the entire circuit, entire loop. So, 30 minus 15 current will go in this direction is equal to into R 10. So, 30 minus 15, 15, I 1 is going to be 1.5 ampere. So, in this wire also there is going to be current of 1.5 ampere. So, 1.5 will come to current comes over here, 1.5 goes over here. So, if you find out for the other one, there will be zero current flowing in this wire, in this arm it will be zero current. Thank you.